Welcome back to another presentation of Zay's Perception. Um, in this video, I want to talk to you all about something that's real important and a very, very good life advice tip. You may have to leave some people behind. You know, um, it's a real tough pill to swallow. And some people think everything is a joke. That's one thing I noticed. Some people think being successful is easy. Like, Anything worth living for in life is not easy. So you can get that out of your head right now. You're going to have to leave people behind. You're going to have to do things you don't want to do. You're going to have to do things that are not comfortable. You're going to have to challenge yourself every day. You're going to have to be obsessed with the challenges. You know, when your muscles are about to give up, when you're doing that 500 100th push up, keep going. Because that's your mind trying to normalize you. That's your mind trying to keep you in a comfort state. Your mind has a, f a fight or flight instinct. And when you exceed things that are challenging, your mind begins to tell you to stop. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Because it's not normal. It's not normal. You know, um, you got to leave people behind because this is something that's not comfortable for a lot of people to do because their family, their friends, and somebody they've been around for their whole life. Somebody that, you know, has been taking care of them or whatever. You, sometimes you got to leave people behind. And what I mean by don't don't just sit there and like, just not give them no care at all. I'm saying like, you're going to have to, you know, if you're, if you're traveling down this road of success, some people can't come with you. Some people can't come with you because they're not on the same mindset as you. They're not on the same wavelength as you. So, you're going to have to leave. You you have no choice. If you want to be successful, you can't stay around everybody. You can't be around everybody. I, I want to be around millionaires. I want to be around financially affluent people. And especially people that are my age. I got to talk to those people. I got to talk to some people who are 20 year olds, 25 years old, even 30 years old who are rich. I got to start talking. I talk to a couple people like that. That's why I have this mindset. I visualize every day being rich, man, getting big money. I work every day towards getting rich. I'm always thinking about how to make more money. Not even to make more money, just to value my time more. Just to challenge myself more because money is not more important than time. That's what they told us in school. You know, trade this away for for uh, for for said thing. Like, trade your time away for grades. Now in jobs, we got to trade our time away for money. And it's only a certain threshold you can exceed because you're working for somebody else. You're living somebody else's dream. That's not your dream. You're living somebody else's dream. So they told us the American dream in school is all bullshit. You know, they didn't tell, they didn't emphasize that time is more important than money. Because once you really realize that, oh man, nothing going to stop you. Once you realize your time is more valuable than money, I'm telling you, because any rich person would tell you that. They are, they never, what successful person do you think cares about money? It's just coming in. It's, it's, it's just the money is flowing. Money, it, bro, they print money. They print it. Money is nothing. Money is energy. You just have to find your, you just have to find a way to put yourself in the energy flow. And then money will just, you, you'll get money coming to you like magic. Once you find yourself, to, once you find a way to put yourself in that energy flow, because money is constantly flowing. You have to find, like in this age of 2023, in this, in this generation we live in, in this era we live in, money it usually flows, the cash flow is usually coming from the internet a lot. Internet schemes, internet, you know, uh, ideas and innovation and uh, entrepreneurship on the internet. You have to find a way to put yourself in that flow of energy. That's the way you get money. Money is a gravitational, it's energy. You have to put, you have to value your time over money. Because if you trade all your time for money, your time will be lost because the whole concept of this structure that we're, we're uh, that we're in right now is like with these jobs and stuff. Jobs just over broke. You're never gonna exceed a certain amount of there. It's only a certain level you can get to at a job. You're never gonna be financially free because you're sitting here putting all these hours in to make this certain type of wage. Hours equal this wage. You're it's a set thing. You can never your mindset can't grow past that unless you. Are financially free for yourself unless you bring these gifts out of yourself and actually pour your time into yourself and into your projects like you do these jobs. 
to make money. But that's the that's the that's the whole mindset that they got us at. They got us thinking that money is more important than time. It is not. Time is the most valuable thing that we have on this planet. You know, you gotta lead, you gotta do the things that are you know, you gotta understand these things if you want to become successful. And you have to do the things that are not comfortable. You know, nothing worth living in life is is gonna be easy. The road to success, you have to be uncomfortable. You have to suffer. You might have to ride a bike to work every day. You might have to, you know, ride your bike for a minute to save your money up. Then once you save your money up, you can invest into what you always wanted to invest into and get the cash flow going. Invest into a piece of equipment to propel your career forward. It's going to get ugly. It's ugly before it gets good. That's what I always tell myself. You got to find beauty in the struggle. You have to find, that's how you become successful. You have to find beauty in the struggle. I'm going to tell y'all that one more time. You have to find beauty in the struggle. Because you have to visualize his life. Man, I visualize my my rich lifestyle every day. Man, I want to become rich so bad. I want to become rich so bad. Y'all don't understand. And the reason I want to become rich because I know the freedom it brings. You know, having as much time to do whatever I want. Not giving all my hours up to a company that's not mine. Just having the money flow in passively. Just putting myself in that position for where money can just flow. Just flow like a stream. Be like water. You know, just flow. And then I can just go to Guatemala and just be on my computer, you know, doing my projects and money is just coming in while I'm on I'm on vacation. That's financially free. That's the free lifestyle. That's the living like a king. That's the lifestyle that I want to live. You know, but it's not going to be easy. It ain't going to be comfortable and I'm going to have to sacrifice and I'm going to have to leave some people behind. So thank y'all for watching this video, man. You're going to have to be uncomfortable, sacrifice and suffer to get to the next level in life, to really get to that successful level in life. Because everything around you when you become successful is is, is going gonna, is gonna to be more pressure. All eyes on you, just like Tupac said, it's going to be more pressure once you keep leveling up in life, it's going to be way more pressure, way more naysayers, people in your ear chirping, telling you you can't do this. Oh, what are you doing? Your mind is going to try to play tricks on you because you're breaking out of the normalized spell that they put us on. When you break out of the matrix, people look at you weird. Pressure starts to come at you. But you have to understand that there's beauty in that because you're just leveling up while everybody else is trying to pull you down. But you're not going to go down. You're going to keep going, rising. Above all the evils of the world. You're going to keep rising above the naysayers. You're going to rise above all that. But it starts with your mindset. That's why I said in the beginning of the video. If you haven't never done a thousand push-ups. Do a thousand push-ups right now. Just drop down and do a thousand. Why won't you do it? Because it's uncomfortable? That's your problem. You have to change your mindset. So thank y'all for watching this video man. More videos coming for y'all very soon. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope y'all enjoy y'all day with y'all family. Because I am. There's some good food down there. I'm enjoying my day with my family. But, hey, understand this. If you want to be successful, you always can't be around your family. You always can't be around your friends all the time. Sometimes you got to give them a little, you know, be away from them a little bit to really focus on what you need to do. Because at the end of the day, if people are not trying to help you get rich, if they're not trying to help you get to the next level, if they're not trying to get to the next level, if they don't have anything uh, to tell you about wealth and to, uh, you know, enhance your mindset, you shouldn't be around them. So thank y'all for watching this video.